Hi everyone, how are you all doing? This is Pravin Dure from Dice University and in today's video, we are going to see the introduction to rich push push traffic network tutorial. Let's go. Welcome to today's video of the introduction of rich push push traffic network tutorial so we are going to talk about rich push rich push is actually a very very famous network when it comes to media buyers a lot of media buyers actually know when you just say the name of rich push if you have seen my video on ad machine review you should know that how much actually rich push dominate the market until they actually relate to a lot and a lot of other networks this is because the founders behind rich push are people who knows the things inside and out since they are not new to the business these are the people who actually successfully developed a platform io for four years so the rich push was actually launched in the year 2000 18 based on their previous success there's few things that you can actually go ahead and name as the main benefits of rich push so what i can say about rich push is that it has a big and huge database of push subscribers and then it has a hundred percent real network users it also has a personal account manager and this is something which is very very interesting the unique features of the platform of rich push itself which i'm going to show you in a while so you're gonna stay tuned and watch this video till the end where we're gonna take a look at the platform of rich push as well so there's also another very very interesting tool on rich push which is the rich push inside with the help of rich push inside you can actually find the right traffic even before you register on the platform and this is one of the main highlights of rich push and i personally think this is a big, a big advantage that they have towards their competitors and personally this is why i think that they stand out when you compare to other competitors so using the rich push inside you can actually allow to see average price for any selected country as well as any price on specific device so you can also understand which offer categories are advertised the most who are your competitors how much they pay for a click and the list goes on so what is the actual benefit that you can actually get by all this so if this is the question that you ask then you have to go to the core fundamental basic that knowledge is everything when it comes to media bias because the normal challenges that media buyers are facing are stuff like this suppose you're going to optimize a specific offer having spent a lot of time and money you finally climb to a positive roi in your campaign so everything is going smoothly but suddenly you start to receive less and lower quality of traffic and you have have no idea what the issue might be so using this particular tool you can actually analyze what happened during that particular definite time spent so most likely you have faced a big competitor who set a higher rate and start to repurchase all the traffic that that you were purchasing before so as you can see this is a very very useful features and honestly i've never seen a tool like this in any other ad networks not only that guys when it comes to rich push it actually provides you with a unique extended targeting the one competitors do not have yet and also there's some other useful tools inside the system as well which we are going to take a look in a while and there is also a brand new push notification format which they called as the in 
page push notification that actually can get around the Chrome and iOS restriction. Since there is a new update of Chrome which restrict a lot of push notifications, this push notification format is what you can actually use to get around the restriction. That is what the rich push actually says. So let's go ahead and take a look at the website of rich push itself. Basically, I like the design of the website. So this is actually the design of the website. The design of the website is uh, correlated to DIY. If you are experienced with DIY, you should know how this website is actually built. So I personally think that this website looks very, very neat. So what they actually say is that reach new audience with push Ad. So drive marketing results at scale by using HQ push traffic in the right way. And then over here, if you scroll down, get more conversion with a new ad format. This is the one I was talking about. So push notification ad uh, is the new ad format that they have over here. A global network attract new user at scale. So there's 450 million users and the minimum CPC is 0 0.003 which is very good so these are the networks uh, where they are available actually so Thailand is there Indonesia is there Malaysia is there so things looks pretty neat my country is there I am happy when I see my country anywhere guys so uh, use the technology that drives performance so with more than seven years experience in the ad tech like I told you even though they was only established in the year 2018 they do have a very very high experience when it comes to the industry itself that is why they know how to create technology that not only works but also drives marketing performance so they, they have like 16 targeting options like I told you this is one of the highlights as well so when you scroll down further these are the places that you can actually go ahead and talk to rich push so they are available in the moscow affiliate conference uh, affiliate summit and all this kind of stuff but i think most of these summits would be postponed due to coronavirus i don't know how bad coronavirus is in your country but it's spreading very very badly in the europe as well worldwide so definitely i think most of these countries will postpone this kind of conference so this is something that you should keep in mind as well so this is actually uh reviews and testimony from people affiliate marketing coach kj rocker says about uh, rich push head of a media buying company elisa nanjaro picosness she says about uh push notification all this kind of people more media professional media buyer actually says what uh, push traffic so this is their team over here they actually shows their team which is pretty genuine because not a lot of company actually shows the whole team behind the product so they actually so show the whole team but as you can see this one i don't think they are mocking the queen or something i don't know what's happening over here but then it's like they are this is like the picture of the queen itself. So yeah, that's what's happening. So Hana is the real power of push traffic. So they are based on Belarus. Um, and then this is the, actually their contact email, hello at reachpush.co. And they do have Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn. So basically this is what their website says about them. Pretty much interesting website and everything looks pretty neat and pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and log in into the platform and see what their platform has to offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the login button. I've already logged in inside the platform. So if you are not inside the platform yet, go ahead and press the get started button and register yourself into the platform before you get the access into the rich push platform so once you log in into the dashboard of rich push this is how the dashboard of rich push actually looks like so there's a lot of sections over here campaigns reporting pixels uh, billing history support traffic inside block 
uh, feature requests, site app monetization, API, and bonuses. If you can actually see how this dashboard looks like, it's actually very similar with the dashboard of Ad Machine. Personally, after looking at the dashboard of Rich Push, I have come to a conclusion as well that that the Ad Machine is somehow related to the Rich Push because, as you can see over here, it's actually powered by Ad Machine. So both Ad Machine and rich push is actually co-related this is something that you have to keep in mind when you're using ad machine you should know that it's actually having the same dashboard and same features as the rich push this is something that you have to keep in mind so let's go ahead and check out the last section that we're going to check out today is the campaign section so before that let's go and check out the other section so the first one we're going to check is the reporting section so when you go to the reporting section if you have a campaign you can actually see the results but mostly uh, this is the details that you can actually see from their internal tracker itself like most of the traffic source network the Rich push has its own internal tracking software but they will always recommend you to go ahead and get an external tracking software itself so before we talk about the external tracking software regarding the internal tracking software so these are the details that you can actually see within the internal tracking software itself so it's actually pretty amazing already so you can actually see all this uh, all these details but definitely an external tracking software makes your life much more easier and i personally think an external tracking software is something which is very very important when it comes to media buying so the next thing is about pixels where you can actually go ahead and create a new pixel if you don't have any pixel all you got to do is just hit the new pixel button and you can start creating your pixel and this pixel is what you're going to go ahead and place in a landing page later on so that you can actually collect more data from the people who was actually visiting your landing page so you will have more data so make sure to actually take this pixel and copy it in your landing page so look at this they already say this cop uh, copy and paste this code in your conversion page make sure it's inside the body element so regardless whether you're using a click funnels to build a landing page or you're using AWS it's actually very easy to take your pixel and copy paste it within your lander if you don't know how to do it in dice university we actually teach you on how to do it you can also get the access into dice university forum and ask people on how to do that we can actually teach you step by step on how to do it but if you're in the dice university itself there's actually a video on step by step how to do it both in click funnels as well as in aws as well so it makes your life much more easier so the next section would be the billing history section where we have no billing history because we have not done nothing but then this is the section that you will have something if for example uh, you have added a fund or you've done something like that so it will have a feature over here so the next section would be the support section so when you click on the support section it leads you to this particular page where there is like a FAQ kind of type of questions that if you have personal questions you can actually click on it and uh, see what the normal answers would be but this is not the only support solution that rich push notification offer this is one of the support solution that the rich push offers so another support solution is you can actually go ahead over here new support ticket and hit this new support ticket over here and go ahead and email them straight away and ask them the questions that you want to it makes your life much more easier so let's get back to the dashboard and see what additional features they have in the dashboard so the next one would be the traffic inside i'm going to look at this one before we take a look at the campaign because this is actually something which we talked about earlier and this is something which i personally like a lot so the second thing would be uh the next one would be the blogs when you hit the blog there's a lot of uh blog posts from rich 
push network itself so you can actually go ahead and read all these enhance your knowledge for for example how to make money on nutra in year 2020 so they are quite updated so the last post was on the march 8 2020 so it's a still a very very relevant uh, push traffic network i would say because a lot of push traffic network they are actually not keeping up with the trend they're not keeping up with the flow so the rich push traffic network is something which is up to date with the trend so they do have a latest post even in their blog and something like this so this is something which you need to take into consideration when you are actually going ahead and considering a push traffic network so let's get back to the dashboard so the next feature would be the feature request section so when you hit the feature request section this is something that works like a suggestion for example uh, allow crypto as a payment method so you can actually see this person over here hamza is actually asking uh, rich push to allow crypto as a payment method you can actually go back to this particular thing and see uh, other questions uh, other questions and other suggestions as well so timetable based on local time not on you based on utc so all this kind of stuff where the crypto where the rich push will actually see these comments and take into consideration whether they can actually do something about this or not. So we would love to hear what you're thinking, what we can do better. So this is the place for you to vote, discuss and share idea. And you can also vote for it. Yes, you can actually upload it. You can see this one word, this is like seven words, this three words, this eight words and all this kind of stuff. So this is a very, very good feature that a network should have. And a lot of networks should actually learn from rich push it's also how to do this because this is something where you actually interact with the audience you're trying to engage with your user itself and giving a very very good user experience there from so let's go to and see the next feature would be the site and app monetization so when you click on this site and app monetization you will be led to this particular page where they actually talk about monetizing your website so this is more to the publisher and also if you have an api you know how to deal with with API and stuff basically if you know how to code then you can go ahead and use the API to make your life much more easier personally I don't know anything to do with the API because I'm not a developer but if you know how to do stuff with API it's it can actually go ahead and make your life much much more easier and over here there's also supports that you can actually get yourself into if you want to monetize your website but we are not going to touch a lot on this because we are not going to talk on the monetization side we are going to talk on the media buying side as a media buying company who wants to advertise push advertisement so let's go ahead to the dashboard and see the next one so the next one would be api like i told you if you have any idea with api you can actually go ahead and uh, do stuff with api which makes things much more easier since i have no idea what to do with api so i'm going to skip that section so the last part that we are going to cover today before we go into the traffic inside and the campaign would be the bonuses so basically this rich push ad is related to a lot of networks so if you have access to the rich push ad you can actually get a lot of bonuses from other websites or other software for example from affiliate lift you can get a 25 percent membership from stm forum you can get 25 percent membership uh, from Binom tracker you can get 40 percent membership is that volume over here definitely volume should be here right so there's a lot of vv media pure lead my lead and all this kind of stuff so volume is here definitely volume is always there because when you talk about external software external tracking software very in specific definitely volume is one of the best external tracker there is and I personally will highly recommend you to use volume not only that we are from Dice University and we are actually partnered with volume as an external tracker which will improvise your experience with volume more personally I've used volume for a long long time and they are absolutely awesome especially when it comes to their support they are absolutely very very helpful helpful and very very supportive and when you actually go over here you can actually see the uh the 
the task bar over here actually changed already a little bit so it backs to reporting account so your account is actually on group key so this reporting section is where we are from just now let's go ahead and uh, press the add fund and see what type of fund we can actually add so uh, you can actually add via credit card debit cards web money money wire transfer and pack some so all of this has like their own um, thresholds own minimum deposit that you can put so for visa and credit card you can actually put hundred dollars for web money you can actually put hundred dollars as well so yeah the minimum is hundred dollars so wire transfer the minimum is five hundred dollars as well as when it comes to pack some i think it's hundred dollars as well so hundred dollars so these are the minimum deposit and these are the four available payment method that you can actually go ahead and top up your balance so what they actually say uh all of this you can actually send except for pack some they actually recommend you to contact your manager first before topping up your balance if you're using the pack sum so when you go to the account section it's actually like a subscription account but you don't need to subscribe for anything uh, all you got to do is just add fund so they want to see how much fund that you add and how much ad spend that you're actually using according to that your account will actually evolve from rookie to professional and to king so they do have special features for example the best feature that the king has is a fully managed campaign Campaign. that means you have a personal account manager which will manage your campaign fully and when it comes to professional uh, you can actually have a personal push ad expert this is something that you don't have in rookie and all this you don't even have traffic insights of uh, your competitors and all this kind of stuff this was only available if you spend a minimum deposit of five hundred dollars which is a very very little amount when it comes to media buying and also there's a coming uh, soon feature of a rich club special so this is something like a uh, like a club they are doing for their users so they do have rich points as well so rich push academy custom targeting options so they do have a lot of stuff coming up within the rich push itself so it's constantly upgrading and personally i like this a lot regarding this particular rich push push traffic network the thing is that when uh, previously i did a video on the ad review of the ad machine you can actually see that i actually complain a little bit about this dashboard uh, one of the reason why i complain about this dashboard a little bit is because i feel that it was very confusing from ad machine and it goes to rich push and all this kind of stuff but when you take a look from the perspective of rich push there is certain things that they can actually improve especially like uh, i forgot to show you this just now the bonus section over here discount is spelled wrongly and all these kind of small small stuff which they can actually go ahead and improve which i think if they improve things would be much better but if you look from their perspective everything looks to be seems everything looks to be pretty all right it's not confusing at all but when you come from ad machine and then suddenly you'll lead to reach push and then it became a little bit confusing for everybody so let's go to the last section which is the campaign section and see how the reach push actually performs with your campaign so there's actually two type of traffic that you can actually select one is the pop one is the push notification so we're gonna go to the push notification so let's go ahead and start creating a campaign so this is how it looks like so before you create a campaign I would highly suggest you to go ahead and read the content policy of campaigns within rich push this is very very important because there's actually prohibited content and regulated content so pornographics are prohibited online dating stuff offering adult meetings are prohibited so make sure you read all this so that you will have a proper understanding and so that your campaign will be approved easy as well and this content policy is actually almost similar for for each network but they do have their own uh, personalization in each and every one of the networks so that is the reason that you should actually read 
all the content policy of each and every one of the networks that you're actually working with to make your life much, much more easier. So let's go ahead and start building a campaign. So the campaign name is over here. Let's go ahead and press test. So the destination URL is where we're gonna put our landing page URL or our offer URL. So I'm going to put a ClickBank offer URL here just for the example purposes. I'm gonna paste it over here and then you can also add Google Analytics tracking code over here. This is actually a good feature which I've never seen in a lot of networks. Uh, they do not allow you to add Google Analytics tracking code because with Google Analytics, it actually works very differently with uh, Pixel. For example, if you're using Facebook, you're gonna go on Pixel. If you're go using Google Ads, you can actually use Google Analytics tracking code. So it works in a very, very different way. And when you talk about Marcos over here, Marcos are usually the tracking uh, tokens, uh, the postback URLs and all this kind of stuff. So if you don't know how it works and all this kind of stuff, you can actually go ahead, click here to see how it works. So let's go ahead and create an ad. So it's going to be a test ad. So it's going to be test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So over here is where you can actually go ahead and add your images. So they do have a size that they recommend you, a dimension as well as a size. So let's go ahead and see whether we need uh, to resize it or not. So as you can see, this is a very good feature that the software have itself. So you no need to go ahead to different software to actually resize. You can actually resize within the software itself. This is something that a lot of push traffic networks nowadays are lacking. So I can only see this feature in few push traffic networks like uh, Probella Ads and now I see it in Rich Push. So this is actually a very good feature, micro editing within the software itself. So it makes your life much more easier. So you can just upload an image over here, even for the uh, main image, and then just cropped it within the software, which makes your life much more easier. I, I personally like this a lot. Uh, but the sad thing about this particular campaign side of the Rich Push ad is that you cannot go ahead and preview your ad. But you can go ahead and actually uh, add and creative so they actually recommend you to run with five creatives for best results so you can actually add more creatives if you want to but unfortunately you cannot preview your ad you don't know how your ad looks like which is very very sad and i feel like this is one of the biggest downfall of this particular campaign builder because they have done everything pretty neatly but they do not have a preview which which makes things very bad so once you actually go ahead you can actually see that they allow up to 10 creative so please upload not more than 10 creative at once so they allow up to 10 creatives which is pretty nice and over here is the tracking so depending on whether you're using a pixel or a postback uh, url all this you can actually change it over here so if you're using a postback url this is the tracking uh, this is the code that you actually need to put in your tracker or in a landing page so in your tracker so this is mostly for the tracking section if you really confused regarding the tracking section i cannot explain to you everything in this video itself because this video is always going to be very long so if i explain about the tracking itself it will go like crazily long so we don't want that but in dice university we do explain a lot regarding tracking so you can go in depth and in step by step on how to set up your tracker and how to deal with a problem with your tracking and also if you're a student with the dice university forum you can ask questions anything that you want regarding the tracking and you will get a lot of response there itself so uh, there's also uh geo targeting of countries so you can actually set like countries and one of the features that i like a lot about rich push is that you can actually target region and city so like they i told you before in uh, when we are making an introduction of rich push itself they are actually very very good when it comes to their tracking system so you can actually go ahead and see their region and city targeting which is not available in many many push traffic network so you can go specifically and you can actually see which uh, city or region that you want to target which is very good and over here is the technology targeting where you can actually choose uh, the device operating system browser and connection type they're very good when it comes to their targeting options so the type is CPC 
and the cost per click you can actually change over here so the recommended cpc is also there so you want to make it uh, 0.03 if we want to follow the recommended cpc so cpa gold is basically cpa gold is basically a feature that they do have to make your campaign much more optimized so what they actually do is after you have a tan conversion this is like an ai which helps your campaign optimization towards your cpa goal and it works automatically the rich push ads actually does it automatically for you so this is a feature that they do have which is pretty nice and also another feature that they do have is also a smart cpc which is also a ai kind of thing which optimize your bids according to your volume and conversion which is which is great so these are the two features which is available in the uh, push net in the rich push network that you cannot find anywhere else and the last feature would be the budget feature so this is something which is common you can actually go ahead and uh, press the budget for uh, daily use so we want daily hundreds and you can also schedule your campaign so these are things which is normal and this is something which is very very interesting for new subscriber alone you can actually see that the that the rich push push traffic network actually helps a new subscriber so if you enable this you can actually see that it's only for new subscriber who is subscribed for one to seven days ago so what happens is this particular feature over here if you click on it it will actually give you a more expensive uh, traffic the volume of the traffic would be low but the CTR and the conversion rate it's a spelling error here they are very bad when it comes to spelling error I really think that they should actually go ahead and appoint somebody to uh, uh -huh proofread everything before they publish it so uh, the the ctr and the conversion rate are actually higher so this is actually a very good feature to help beginners because as a beginner marketer as a beginner media buyer when you run your ad you will get very disappointed if you don't see any good ctr or if you don't see any conversion so to make your life better they actually help you with the ctr and conversion but this is something is not for you when you are scaling your ad because the volume is very low so definitely when you are planning to scale your ads you need to disable this feature so this is a pretty pretty interesting feature that a lot of push traffic network does not have and this is something that i think they should really really adopt from the rich push ad itself so uh then there's a subscriber list id which is a very common thing and then there's an impression cap this is your impression, uh, the, something like frequency capping, and they do have uh, different click caps as well. The same as uh, in, uh, your frequency capping, but for clicks. So you can actually clicks per user, 100 clicks per user per day. So you can actually go advanced setting over here and go more on the targeting. So they do have more targeting options for carrier, for browser, uh, and then they have timetable over here, which is very good which means you can actually uh, decide when you want to run the ad what day you want to run the ad what time specifically you want to run the ad and all this kind of stuff which is pretty great so this is something that i want to talk about but this one is something that i want to talk about finally so the last one would be uh so as you can see over here this is actually the budget type so you can this is something very common you can actually uh, ask them to spend your budget asap or you can ask them to spend your budget evenly and this is like whitelisting and backlisting for bidding and this is like whitelisting and blacklisting for ip address so this is the part that i want to concentrate a lot which is the automated rules if you actually click on here you can actually see and you can actually create an automated rules which is super good what you can actually do is for example let's say the rule is automated rule one and and then you can actually apply the rule to campaign and then what you can actually do is you can actually pause the campaign or you can change the daily budget of the campaign so what you can actually do is this this automated rule is there for you in case you don't want to monitor your campaign it makes your life so easy for example you can actually pause your campaign if your campaign has a conversion less than uh, three for example for a period of uh, last three days or last one uh, two days 
So what happens is if you set something like this, what happened is that if your campaign has a conversion less than three, four less for in, in two days time, what happens is your campaign is automatically paused. So this is actually a very, very good feature, which does not available in a lot of push traffic network and this is something which brings the rich push uh, ahead of their competitors definitely i would say that because this is actually a very very good feature and you can also do this for other stuffs like uh, for campaign you can actually change the daily budget if you for example if you have a conversion more than three in a one day time you can actually change your daily budget by ten dollars and all this kind of stuff so this this automated rule part is very very interesting so basically uh, rich push has actually admired me a lot when it comes to their campaign building and all this kind of stuff so the only drawback that they do have regarding their campaign is that they do not have a preview section for their ad which is a very very bad thing i really really hope that they take this review into consideration if they actually they see this review please add a preview for your ad so that people can actually know how their ad will look like it makes life much more easier other than that everything looks absolutely amazing when it comes to building the campaign so the final feature that i want to touch today regarding the rich push network is the traffic inside this is what i was talking about just now itself in the, when we are introducing the rich push ad so these are the features that we was talking about so in this particular feature you can actually see an impression according to geos uh, you can see impression according to device you can see uh, impression according to verticals you can actually see a ctr report of countries by verticals by device by a, a lot and a lot of details over here guys and personally these details can really 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 help you and if you can actually utilize these particular details properly it can really really help you especially like just now if you have a professional account with the rich push you can actually use this inside within campaign to spy on your competitors as well which is pretty pretty amazing but even without registering into the campaign you can actually go ahead and use this traffic inside itself so this tool itself usually it will be an external tool where you have to pay for this kind of tool separately but it's actually involved in the rich push push traffic network itself and i think this is the biggest plus point of the the rich push push traffic network personally this is well, crazy crazy feature that a lot of push traffic networks should have as well but i don't think they will do this since rich push has already done this this is what keeps them at top at most of the time ahead of their competitors so basically we have covered a lot regarding rich push at the basic and the basic fundamentals has been covered there's a lot of information that i actually said today regarding the rich push push traffic network i've also showed you on how to build a campaign with the rich push push traffic network so i really hope that this video was beneficial for you and you can actually use this particular knowledge to build a campaign within rich push or you can actually use this particular knowledge to understand more about rich push itself basically that's about it guys thanks again for watching everybody i'll be seeing you in the next one but before i go Allow me to introduce the Dice University Forum. Whether you are trying to make your first conversion on ClickBank or scale your campaigns to six figures, the Dice University Forum offers you exactly what you need, like high-quality landing page templates, detailed case studies, and exclusive discounts. The forum has no outdated information. All resources inside are from campaigns that are running right now. Do you want to learn from super affiliates? Check the link in the description and sign up today.